afternoon. I'm Steve Strasberg, Vice President of HD Sales for TC Group Americas, a division of uh, TC Electronic from Mishkov, Denmark. Uh, today I'm going to show you, it's exciting to be at this show. Uh, it's been very well attended and uh, very high quality, high caliber people here and it's been really a fun experience. We're showing off some, some new products. First off is the uh, System 6000 Mark II. It started shipping a number of months ago. It's been very well received. We've had a, a growth in sales. Uh, it includes an opportunity for people who own existing 6000s to upgrade to the brand new model for $2,000, which includes a whole new set of features and algorithms. Uh, they can trade their old unit in and we'll update it for them to make it exactly compatible with the new model and, and um, available right away. So people send it in within six months, uh, usually a week we uh, turn it around and uh, get it back to them fully updated with a new one year warranty. So a unit that was 10 years old now will be updated for two grand and have a, t a new warranty on it. Pretty exciting for us. The Part of the new algorithm series that we've introduced within the System 6000 is all the latest technologies for loudness. We're uh, quickly becoming a loudness authority because uh, our, our engineers were involved in developing the loudness standard, the ITU BS 1770 standard, which is being utilized throughout Europe, but it's also being utilized by the ATSC in the US. And it's part of the COM Act and the recommended a85 practice that was developed by the ATSC and it specifically says we will use the ITU BS 1770 standard to gauge and meter all audio for broadcast. So it's pretty exciting. We were front runners in it and we have it incorporated in a lot of our products. The System 6000 with the radar display allows you to measure the dial norm value called the center of gravity which is an average loudness measurement Consistency, which measures the amount of dynamic range of the particular recording you're involved with. So it really comes in handy to measure broadcast product that will air and end up in the home, but it's also equally as valid measuring product that's going to be streamed to someone's computer. It's also equally valid to measure audio that's going to go to somebody's iPhone because dynamic range is a very important consideration uh, when it, you know which to, to determine which medium it's going to end up on. And a lot of the production ends up on all different mediums. So you have to be able to produce a product and then remix it in order to suit that particular medium. So in the System 6000, we give you the tools to do that. We're also introducing at the show the TM9 loudness meter. It gives you a standalone meter that will use the ITU BS 1770 standard in our radar format and allow you to look through uh, uh, other types of metering that uh, it's, it's a co-venture with RTW so they they provided the main meter w with our software and we're providing our software for their meter so in, in essence it's um, the same meter from both companies it'll be marketed at the same price but it's a matter of preference where someone would buy it but it's pretty exciting and it's pretty portable and uh, we see it, that it'll be in a lot of studio environments as well as master control rooms uh, the other product that we wanted to show off at the show is the uh, LM2. It's a loudness meter. Uh, it does logging. It does uh, a radar display on a computer, which can be networked so that someone on their desktop could be looking at it in another room. They could be looking at it uh, at home, for that matter, and monitoring the output of the production environment within a facility. Or if it's in a broadcast, they can monitor the output, the broadcast as it hits the home. So it's very uh, nice implementation. One rack unit, $1,800, and uh, it does a very nice job. Uh, in addition, at the show, we're featuring a, a new affiliation with uh, Chris Polona Systems, where we're showing off um, some speakers designed by him using Tannoy drivers, dual concentric coaxial drivers, uh, which is Tannoy is owned by TC Electronic. And he's made a nice implementation of the Tannoy drivers in a, in a small, compact, speaker which has some DSP processing capabilities as well as amplification. So it can be uh, used in many different ways. It could be flipped to tailor to the particular listening environment that you're in. And uh, it works very well and sounds very well. We're pretty excited about this affiliation. And uh, that's pretty much what we have at the show.